I just got done um, listening to a presentation from Brian Solis, and uh, we were having a conversation. I thought I'd fire off some five, five easy questions, more of a conversational manner, some things that, that uh, definitely have my curiosity peaked. So we'll start with a fun one. Um, Brian, what, uh, what's the last book you've read, and, and um, uh, did you enjoy it? Uh, yeah. Which, yeah. What was the name of the book? <laughs> yeah, you, you liked it, apparently. I'm, I'm stalling. Uh, <laughs> To be honest, I've been writing my next book. That's my whole, it's the only thing I'm reading and writing right now. Now, the last book, gosh, um, I mean, I did peruse through uh, Brogan's Trust Agents. I did read uh, Tamar Weinberg's yeah. um, Social Media Marketing. Uh, I, I did peruse through uh, Social Nomics. Um, but I have not had enough time to sit and read through something from cover to cover. Uh, Unless it was a, a, a research paper, like for example, on uh, I've been reading a lot about sociology uh, in terms of its uh, its evolution, the history of social physics. Mm -hmm. um, Do you think, is, is your next book going to cover kind of that angle, or is that mm -hmm. okay? Absolutely, yeah. And it gets it gets into a lot of like the data that we talked about here, because in some in some ways, shapes, and form, I believe that even though companies are, you know, there, you still have that dichotomy of of uh, you know social media, do we, don't we, and then also you know yes we are. But, you know, whether you know it or not, you might be doing it wrong. And sure, so sure. the book really is designed to give people some real data, some real insights, some real lessons, some, some research, you know, yeah. a lot of stuff that's going to help Back people it make up, some right? decisions. Yes. Yeah. So I got one question. You, you touched a lot about um, PR and kind of its evolving uh, role in corporations. Would you mind talking a little bit about kind of what, how you feel about PR and, and major corporations, how that's, how that's shifted? Yeah, well, it, how it's shifted... It's easier to say how it needs to shift, uh, and that's because whew, that's because of a lot of things. You know, public relations is an industry that has been around for a really long time. Right? I mean, the first press release, the first official press release that's recognized, crossed I think in what 1902, and it was about a train wreck. Uh, wow, and, that long, huh? <laughs> yeah, and so this is a very um, tried and true business, and so we we have established processes, we have established methodologies, we have we have things and tools and. And lessons that we use and learn, especially templates. I mean, the press release. I don't know how many people start a press release from scratch now. Everything's based on a template. We just have these things in which we're used to using and how we're supposed to use them and processes for measuring their success and justifying the activities. We have, when you talk about the social web and a lot of the things that I shared in terms of the conversation prism, justifying the conversations, figuring out where you need to be, who are the new influencers, how do you interact with these new influencers, you actually start to realize that there's a great resistance at work of how things are structured versus how things should work should you want to be involved here. Mm -hmm. And so the biggest observation is that there is a shift that needs to take place, and that's what the whole premises of this book that just came out, Putting the Public Back in Public Relations. Mm -hmm. It helps communications professionals become the catalyst for change or the change agents from within in order to help start to restructure the public relations departments or communications departments to effectively embrace, fold mm -hmm. in some of this social activity, not replace everything, but just mm -hmm. start to augment. So, the, so your book really kind of touches on how PR really needs to embrace this. It's happened, and it, it's, de it's definitely something they've got to pay attention to. Yeah, well, it, uh, I think that's the first page. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's, that's the self, and, and then you need to read more. <laughs> and the rest is, uh, you know, the rest is why, how, you know, what to do, how to measure it, sure. um, how, to, how to sell it in. Uh, how to embrace influencers, how to work with influencers. It's, it's a very hands-on guide. Sure, sure. Well, only I'll ask, uh, I'll, I'll uh, conclude with one last question. Uh, we're all about, you know, shiny objects in the uh, in the digital world, and, and anybody who uh, uh, who's in the uh, blogosphere or social sphere loves talking about the new shiny objects. What, what's got your attention now? Just, just out of curiosity, what has got your attention? Uh, this flip just in cam. general. This really? Yeah, well, yeah. I'm, I'm focused on it. <laughs> What has my attention right now? Uh, that is a good question. Everything has my attention right now. I mean, maybe that's the problem. Um, <laughs> I am really big right now on uh, on research. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm spending a lot of time analyzing behavior, uh, analyzing um, activities. You'll start to see next week some of the some of the fruits. I will be publishing for the first time. Yeah, uh, exciting reports based on a lot of this activity backed up with data, uh, and it's going to be very very interesting. And a lot of industries are going to uh, a lot of industries are going to be affected because this is some hard, cold stone facts that I think will uh, 
open people's eyes. So that's my shiny object is uh, uh, research and numbers and data. I'm, I'm actually starting to sound like an analyst. I think uh, <laughs> thanks from hanging out with Jeremiah too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's doing some really good stuff now that he moved over at Altimeter. Yes, everything. he is. Yeah. He's always been doing good stuff, and uh, that's an all-star team, uh, those guys over at Altimeter. So sure. Uh, I guess he can continue to be an inspiration. You hear that, Jeremiah? <laughs> well, very cool. You did a great job presenting today. I think uh, everyone here uh, really enjoyed it. So Thank best you. of luck with everything. Thank you.